You're watching ESC News. Thank you for joining us. A brief protest was staged in Yangon on Monday, 25th of July, after Myanmar's military junta executed four democracy activists, which is accused of helping to carry out terror acts. Video shows a dozen masked protesters risking arrest by holding the public demonstration at which they displayed a banner reading, We Will Never Be Frightened, and called out the names of the executed activists. There was some applause apparently from local residents as they chanted against army and coup leader General Myung Leng. After a short while, the video shows the protesters dispersing and running off. The executed men were accused of helping a civilian resistance movement that have fought the military since last year's coup and bloody crackdown on nationwide protest. Among those executed were democracy campaigner Xiao Mingyu, better known as Jimmy, and former lawmaker and hip-hop artist Pyo Seyato, an ally of ousted leader Aung San Suu Kyi. The two others executed were Liam Yo Ung and Ung Turazo. The United Nations Special Rapporteur on Myanmar expressed outrage on Monday, July 25th, after the country's ruling military executed four democracy activists, adding that he is fearful of what might come next. Myanmar Junta has executed the activists accused of helping to carry out terror acts, it said on Monday, sparking widespread condemnation of the Southeast Asian nation's first executions in decades. Sentenced to death in closed-door trials in January and April, the men had been accused of helping a resistance movement to fight the army that seized power in a coup last year and unleashed a bloody crackdown on its opponents. Tom Andrews, UN Special Rapporteur on the Human Rights Situation in Myanmar, said the executions proved there is no limit to the depravity of the junta. The junta is despised by most people. They have no support among the population of Myanmar, he said. So I think the message for the people inside the country is that no one is safe. There is no limit to what we will do to those who continue to oppose us. Pyo Min Yu, 53, and Pyo Zaya Ta, a 41-year-old ally of ASIT leader Aung San Suu Kyi, lost their appeals against the sentences in June. The two others executed were Lam Yo Ong and Ong Tura Ta. Andrew said the UN has yet to confirm how the executions were conducted, although he said they may have taken place in instant prison, which he said had absolutely horrific conditions. At least 140 people remained on death row in the country, Andrew said, and there is every indication the junta could continue conducting executions. I'm afraid that even more floodgates are not opening, he said. I'm outraged by what is happening. This is just horrific, but I'm even more fearful of what's to come. Um, this is just horrific, but I'm... I'm...